your value ninety two sixty six kb. The applied load from structure analysis from Riza has a value sixty six. Your design for this member to avoid yielding can support 92. Do you think this member is safe to support this load? Yes. yes. I am okay to avoid yielding. What about the second one? We need to do some calculation first. What is the value of area net? We have three holes. I don't care about three. We can make cut here or cut here or cut here. So at each cut we have only one hole. So what is the value of area net? Area net equal. Your area gross, 2.86. <coughs> Minus. Diameter of bolt, 5 eighths. Plus 1 16 to make your hole. Plus another 1 16 for expected damage. All of them by your thickness, you can get your area net. What is the thickness? Area. Thickness of one leg. Because this holds in this leg of your angle. Your thickness, 3 eighths. You don't need to do this. You can add only 1 eighth. That's fine. 3 quarters. So, 5 eighths. Plus one eight, one one eight. Five three eight minus two point eight six. Your value will be two point five eight inches squared. Go back here. Point seven five. F ultimate according to steel type fifty eight. Area effective two point fifty eight. Your value will be. 112.2 kip. So I think your factor the load less than 112.2 kip. That means I am okay. That means your member is efficient. Your member is good to support this factor load. We did some mistake here. <coughs> we have a mistake here. Thank you. Yeah. This area net, we are using here area effective. Most of the time not equal. The problem assume we will figure it out right now. Area effective equal 0.85. So area effective first, 0.85 time your area net equal first. 2.19, so this value as area effective is used in this equation, 2.90. So this value will be changed a little bit. 95, we still see. Here is the design. Have to design your tension member. Sometimes, as I told you, in steel or concrete, we can assume member and make check between what is the design value and what is the structure analysis results and make comparison. Your results from structure analysis from RISA must be equal or less than the design value. Then you can decide, hey, my member is good, my member is sufficient to support this loop. Any question? I have question. Uh, hey, <coughs> this member <coughs> is supported to this side by this gusset blade along only this leg. Can you see here? Only this leg 
is supported or connected to this gusset blade by this hole. And this leg is free. Do you think uh, if you have a gross area like this, and you are supporting only one bar, and the other part is free, do you think this system is efficient? No, because I'm supporting from one side, like this page. If you are supporting from this one, and you are trying to, to pull from here, do you think this part is working good? No, I'm t I, I think this one is loose. That's right? So this is the reason why we are using area effective. And there is a difference between area net and difference between area gross. Area gross is the total cross section net. Area net, you are subtracting holes. Area effective, you are talking about the effective area which is working with you in design. Because your connection not efficient, 100%. You are connecting your member from a single bar, from one bar, and the other part is free. We will talk about this one. So in the area effective, does that 25 make change? No, no, it's assumed. <coughs> we will oh, that's calculate it just okay. a moment. Table. I skipped one slide. I will do it back. The connection has a significant influence on the performance of attention member. This member connected to this side by this connection. This connection has a very uh, important influence on the performance of attention member. Connection almost always weakens the member. And a measure of its influence is called joint efficiency. <coughs> joint efficiency is a function of material ductility, uh, spacing between balls, stress concentration at holes, fabrication, steps, shear, leg. This one is the most important thing. One more time. Your tension member from the center of the member from here, trying to pull <coughs> this page. You are connecting this page at this corner. I would like you to see how your tension force is working. This side is special. Do you think this one is under tension? No, it's loose. This is called shear leg. Your tension is coming from this side, like this. Can you see? And the other part of your cross section is loose. This is called shear leg. We have another factors can affect on the efficiency of your connection, but, but this one, has the most important uh, effect. All factors contribute to reducing the effectiveness, but shear leg is the most important one. Shear leg occurs when the, this one is important. Tension force is not transferred homogeneous to all elements of the cross section. This will occur when some element of the cross section are not connected. We have two legs. One leg is free and the second leg is connected. So we don't have efficiency. For example, see figure where only one leg of an angle is bolted to the gusset blade and the other one is free. So we can expect something called shear leg that means we have area effective is less than area net, which is less than area gross. According to standards, your area effective equals U time area net. Your U as a factor 
equal 1 minus x bar divide L. What is the value of x bar? x bar is the distance between centroid of your cross section to the edge of the member, which <coughs> will be given in a table. Same table, same table for uh, member for angle four times four times three equal eight. We have a term here called x bar. X bar can tell you what is the value between centroid of angle and the edge of your angle. So x bar for your angle can be 100, uh, I'm sorry, 1 inch point 30. So x bar will be given in the table. Why is x bar on the y, oh, it's on the y axis? I'm sorry? Say that again. On the uh, table, mm -hmm. you know how it has like um, the column title? Here is your angle. We have y axis, we have x axis. That's right. This distance from this centroid to this edge called x prime. The table is constructed. Everything about this properties, about y axis, can be considered under y axis. So he can Consider x prime related to y axis properties. That's all. We have another uh, distance also. This distance between the centroid and this edge, y bar, which is the same value. If you look to your table, it will be the same. What's the value of L? What do you think? <coughs> yes, L is a lens. Of the, of the carbon. This lens. Part of your member which is supported by the connection. This L. Did they go to the first one, the last one? Last bolt to the edge of your member. So determine the effective net area for a tension member shown. <laughs> Your tension member, your tension member, in this case, connected by bolted connection. In this case, welded connection. We would like to calculate what is the area effective. First case. We have angle 6 times 6 times 1 half. What is the area cross for this uh, member? Can you look to your table? What is the gross area? 6 times 6 times 1. 1 half. So we have, go back, go back. We are looking for 6 by 6. There you go. 6 by 6, time 1 half, time 1 half, time 1 half, there you go. Your area equal 5.77. 6 times 6 times 1 half, your area 
be sure the title of your column is area. Your area equal 5.77. So area gross, 5.77 inches squared. So will we always be on the y axis when we're looking for these? Areas? I'm sorry? Will we always be on the y axis when we're looking for these areas? No, no, no. I'm talking about area. Area does not care about x axis or y axis. Okay. If you would like to get for x bar, do you have x bar here? No, we have y bar. I don't care. So go down to the next page. If you are looking for something related to section properties, we have x bar under y y. Area doesn't care about y y or x x. So your x bar, four six times six times one half. Is it one half? Yes. This one. Which column? Which column? Which column? One point six seven inch. Maybe later we will use another value, but right now, until now, we are looking only from this table. Uh, area gross, add what is the value of x bar for its interest. Before calculating your effective area, what is the area net? Area net for bolted connection equal. Area gross minus. We can expect fracture here, or fracture here, or fracture here. That's right? So at each location, we have two holes. So we have two times. What is the diameter of bolt? Diameter of bolt, 5.8. This 5.8 must be added to 1 16 and another 1 16. That's right. Bolt plus 1 16, you can get the hole. Plus another 1 16 to consider the uh, expected damage around your hole. Time.